Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Leadership and uh, team effectiveness is the another important uh, dimension uh, uh, we, uh, which uh, making the your leadership more uh, uh, effective. Uh, that, that is about the art of communication. The way the leader they communicate uh, with the followers and then accordingly they are getting the uh, motivated uh, and uh, their performance uh, uh, is affecting. So, effective communication we will talk importance of effective communication, example of effective communication, inspirational communication, how to inspirational communicators, examples of inspirational uh, uh, communication, supportive communication. Then the eight uh, principles of supportive communication, examples of support, uh, then we will take certain examples with this and then as usual we will talk about the research paper and case studies and the book recommendations are concerned. So, it is the communication is the language of the leadership and uh, I always uh, uh, emphasize on this that is the uh, whenever we are talking about the behavior, behavior between the any two uh, persons are concerned then definitely the bridge, bridge is the communication is there. The communication is not only the mode of these uh, uh, the communicate the message. But it uh, in addition to the communicate the message, it also reflects uh, your emotional state and therefore, uh, the persons perceive the way you communicate, what you communicate, uh, uh, are you uh, are able to use the uh, communication as a mechanism to influence the behavior of others or not. Because you see communication influences a lot. And uh, they have, and uh, it is not only the verbal communication, even it is the non-verbal communication is also concerned and then you will find that is the, uh, that is also affecting. Uh, you, uh, so I, I give an example like at the workplace, at the workplace when you find uh, that is the your boss, uh, uh, though he is not having the any verbal communication, but his body language and the way he interacts with you, the way he, he is uh, reflecting. On, on your behavior that all will be that decided uh, on the basis of that is the how um, this uh, communication has been uh, uh, placed by between the, um, the follower and the leader is concerned. So, we know about it is the effective communication is uh, information is exchanged between individuals through a common system of symbol signs of behavior is concerned and it is a, uh, it is a degree to which someone tells others something and ensures. So, I will not go much detail into this because the, it is a basic process of communication and uh, I am sure that is the this much uh, communication knowledge you have about the process of communication is there. We will see the behavioral aspects of this uh, effective communication. So, it involves the ability to transmit and receive information, high probability that the intended message is from sender to receiver is there. Now, whenever we talk about the if examples of effective communication, so that is uh, here we will take uh, the Google CEO motivational speech is there. That is a Sundar Pichai is uh, that is uh, in the two, uh, 2017 keynote address. Uh, so, these are the, the salient features uh, like that is a use of humor, clarity about the ideas, uh, uh, then the non-verbal actions uh, um, which, which, are, which are affecting the followers also. Uh, body language, uh, use of visual aids, moderate pace of speech and the use of the whole stage continuous movement that, that is uh, making him the, the giving a message uh, that is uh, how the active and energetic the leader is. Now, when we talk about the inspirational communication is concerned, then one of the dictionary meaning of the inspiration is the communication to the spirit is concerned, right. So, this inspirational communication comes from the heart, not the head. Now, you see the way whenever the, you are communicating with your uh, the team members. So, that is the, the way uh, 
you, uh, the, you express, you express your thought process and that is becoming the inspirational is there. So, therefore, if the, uh, the leader, if he is very vibrant, energetic, communicating and the, uh, high, uh, the high goals are set, the priorities are decided, planning is done. So, therefore, in that case, uh, level the surpluses and then, then it, it is sensitizing the brains of the followers. So, uh, if, uh, if uh, you are slow or the, the leader is uh, uh, not that much uh, taking interest in communicating with the followers is concerned or then uh, if we, it is not that much uh, the active, energetic and vibrant, then definitely your followers, uh, the, the brain, what will the brain? Brain will slip. So, therefore, in that case, uh, it, it is uh, very much important uh, that is the, uh, the involvement, involvement of the leader is must and that is why it is said it is more hard than head and more engaging than informing is there. So, that engagement, engagement of uh, uh, your team members uh, uh, that is very, very important is there. So, inspirational communication is all about creating that energy and motivation to get people to do what you want them to do and follow your uh, uh, lead is there. So, therefore, always it is important uh, uh, that is the energy and motivation so that the people will be performing in the, in the best manner. Now, finding uh, the inspirational side the biggest and most important features of something uh, that is the uh, inspirational is in the underlying message of the story. So, it is a powerful belief that moves the audience and therefore, in that case uh, uh, that you are authority, authority on your belief. So, therefore, it is not that you are supposed to motivate the your followers and that is why you are motivating the your followers. No, whatever you communicate the follower themselves will feel motivated. So, it, it should be the intrinsic process rather than the extrinsic process is concerned. So, in the sense the belief behind your story is what makes your communication speak to the spirit is there and that is that, why it should come from the heart. Something people can believe in not every belief will work though, it has to be to be something your audience can directly relate to. So, it is also important to make the underlying belief of your story something believable is there. Right. Uh, be uplifting and empowering is there. Mm, always you see uh, that is the in inspirational communication all, uh, uh, what the person will perceive. The person will perceive that is the how I can be uplifted, uh, how I can uh, um, make my horizon uh, uh, wide and uh, expanded. So, therefore, in that case that is the uplifting and the uh, is there and the empowering is there. If we are giving the uh, that uh, empowerment, uh, then definitely uh, here we will find that is the yes, the person can have the um, better uh, uh, the inspirational communication. Articulate your vision. Now, now you see that articulation of the vision because the, what a leader does uh, right from beginning we are talking about that is uh, he is creating the vision and directing the followers to achieve that particular vision and goal. And uh, th that competency mapping is also the part of your articulation of the vision is there. So, inspiring belief is just an important as the belief itself. And therefore, in that case, if you are having that belief of yourself, then you will be able to uh, uh, direct uh, your uh, uh, the team members towards the achievement of that particular goal. Uh, and here, uh, the example of the inspiration communication, he has uh, uh, the three lessons uh, that is Indra Nui shared uh, in her speeches. Now, uh, please be a lifelong student and do not lose that curiosity is there. Continuous learning process is there, right. And therefore, in that case, the day the person thinks that is the I have the enough knowledge and the, the person is intellectually dead. So, therefore, in that case, uh, the leader, leader has to pursue. He, he, he or she should never stop and always try to get that is the whatever his experience is there, whatever his learning is there, the sharing of knowledge sharing and then in that case uh, uh, that, that uh, in that knowledge sharing the people find lot of things to learn. So, there is a curiosity is there. So, that is the ok, I have to go as I was mentioning about the motivational needs also level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4 and then this level is a non ending level is there. So, that curiosity remains to be always there for the next level. Now, whatever you do, throw yourself into it, throw your head, heart and hands into it. I look at my job not as a job, I look at it as a calling, as a passion is there. And this is uh, always you will find it is uh, every successful leader is saying, uh, even the Dr. Kalam has said 
that is it is not that I am doing the job. So, I am uh, just what I want to do, I am fulfilling my hobby and as a result of which I am getting my salary. So, therefore, in that case, uh, it, it, it is a passion, it is a hobby and not as a job that somebody is doing. The day you think that is it is my job which I am doing to earn the money, and the, the, then in that case, your involvement uh, and engagement with that particular job uh, uh, that will be very low. So, help others rise greatness comes not from a position, but from helping build the future of all of us in positions of power, have an obligation to pull others up you know. And this is the uh, this is a message which we are always talking about that what the leader has to go uh, give. The leader has to give this particular message that is he is not doing the leadership for his own self interest. He is doing the leadership to upliftment of others. Like in India, we find that is our prime minister, he which is uh, always whenever he, he talks about uh, uh, the upliftment of the society, and therefore we find it is the it is not it is the uh, it is a person is behind the position rather than the position is an instrument for the upliftment of the society is there. So, team building communication uh, uh, here the uh, example for the Chuck the India uh, movie. Uh, so, that we find that is the uh, where uh, the, the, uh, the leader talks about that is the it is the you have the 70 minutes only right and in the 70 minutes that is either do or die situation is there. So, no matter what happens whether you win or lose nobody can take uh, the 70 minutes away from you. So, therefore, you have to give your best. And, and life whole life is like this drama. So, this stage where you are having the certain number of years are there, they are fixed and therefore, in that uh, years uh, uh, that is the nobody should take away uh, those min uh, minutes or the years from you and therefore, you have to do your best uh, and uh, as a result of which uh, you find it is the at the end of the day right, then we find it is the yes we, we have performed our role and that is a satisfaction there is the satisfaction which comes from uh, ourselves within. So, therefore, I am not going to tell you how to play this game. Uh, instead, you will be tell me by, by play, uh, playing the game is there. So, therefore, that is the it is it is the demonstration demonstration by doing it is not the demonstration uh, just uh, for the purpose or to do the demonstration it is not for the uh, doing sake rather than it is for the perceiving this uh, that particular goal. So, if every player in this team plays the best hockey of our life uh, then definitely you will find that the, the person will be able to achieve the goal or what we can say the satisfaction is there. So, in the supportive communication another now the uh, dimension of the communication is that is the uh, supportive communication. So, we have seen about the inspirational communication and now we will talk about the supportive communication. It, it is an interpersonal communication that helps you to communicate accurately and honestly. Now, now you see that is the your honesty in your communication should reflect right and especially in the difficult circumstances and uh, it is not that I am with you, I am with you and therefore, the person has to be with you in the difficult situation is there. So, without your part is in the interpersonal relationship is concerned and then if the situation demands the one should be present. It is not hard to communicate supportively to express confidence trust and openness when things are good and when people are doing what you like is there. So, therefore, you, you can judge there is no need to take the any survey or like this and therefore, whenever your uh, confidence is there uh, that, that, that will be ex, ex, it will be expressed. The trust, trust is how do you in the communication that the communication the trust itself is the reflecting and the way you talk to the, the, the other person the person understand whether the person is having the trust in me or not. But when you have to correct someone's else behavior, when you have to deliver negative feedback or when you have to point out some shortcomings of another person, communicating is a way that builds and strengthens the relationship is more difficult is there. Now, here we have to understand the role of communication here. So, therefore, in that case uh, whenever we have to take the corrective actions right, it is not the question of punishment, it is a question of that is that we want to correct the behavior of others and then in that case the way we communicate. So, like in spite of saying that is that your weaknesses are this rather than there is a scope of improvement in you in this particular areas are concerned and then definitely in that case that will be the support to communication is there. So, dear friends whenever we are talking about the business communication and that is true into the support to communication we have to follow these eight, eight principles. The first principle is support to communication is based on 
concerned, congruence not the incongruence is concerned. So, therefore, it is the always on the congruence that is what is communicated verbally and non-verbally that is matches exactly what you are thinking and feeling is there. You say people understand. People understand in by your behavior what you are saying and what 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 do you mean? And therefore, in that case, if you mean and uh, and the, and you, what you say and what you did, then the, in that case, definitely, if there is a consistency, there is a correlation, and then def, uh, you will be able to develop that particular supportive communication. And therefore, they, they, there is no incongruence is there. Uh, so, as a result of which, always it is better that is the uh, whatever in the team building, especially, and when we are working with our uh, the followers, uh, then definitely whatever is in our mind that we should create that particular uh, uh, environment where the supportive uh, communication is there. Now, the two kinds of the incongruence are possible. One is a mismatch between what we are experiencing and what you are aware of and therefore, there is a deep seated anger, sadness or fear is there and uh, somebody ask you that is uh, why there is something seems to be wrong right and then the person says no there is nothing I am I am ok. So, therefore, that is the uh, incongruence is possible. Second is a mismatch between what you think or feel and what you communicate. So, feeling guilty about one's thoughts or feelings thinking them to be inappropriate or wrong is there and therefore, in that case. Uh, always, always, always uh, please, uh, uh, especially in the team building and working with the our superior, we, we should have the congruence and not the incongruence. Because as soon as uh, if you are having these, uh, this type of these uh, inappropriate or wrong um, uh, match, uh, the communication or the mismatch is there, then definitely that it will affect uh, the interpersonal relationship uh, with your supervisor is concerned. Second is supportive communication is a descriptive and not evaluative. So, evaluative communication makes a judgment or places a label on other individuals or on their behavior. So, you are doing it wrong, you are incompetent, you messed up and therefore, in that case you will find it is a evaluative communication is there. So, always please try that is you are not uh, uh, that harsh that is in your communication that is uh, you are always the evaluate judging others right. So, therefore, um, uh, in, uh, it is not uh, advisable that is the we, we talk about uh, that is the, uh, you are uh, incompetent or you messed up or do, you are doing it wrong because the you see uh, uh, what we have learned we have learned so far it is a leadership the followers and the communication that that has to be the part of the building the relationship it should your communication should not be part of the breaking the relationship. So, many times the leader, uh, leader because of their stress uh, and because of the uh, the job demands or that there is a task demand is there. So, what they do that is uh, they, 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 they their communication is distorted and whenever that is a distorted or not non fulfillment of the expectations are there and where the failures are there especially. So, in that case that it, it is a uh, uh, that time of communication right and that, that should not be the evaluative communication is to be there right and that evaluative communication uh, that is required to be having the you are having the uh, uh, approach towards the positive. It will reduce the tendency to evaluate and to uh, perpetuate a defensive interaction. So, it involves three steps describes objectively the event behavior or circumstances focus on the behavior and your reaction not on the other person's uh, attributes uh, and the focus on the solutions and avoid the discussing who is right or wrong is there. So, always uh, now, now in spite of focusing on the person it is always better that is the focus on the event that if anything has been gone wrong then why, why why it went wrong and therefore, we have to try to understand analyze and take the corrective actions. So, focus on the behavior and your reaction not on the person's uh, attributes are there and normally what happens you see that whenever there is a failure the person attacks on the ego of others and therefore, in that in that case uh, uh, that is that is a blunder. So, it in, it will never create uh, uh, this uh, the team building is concerned because the people may forget when uh, you have physically attacked, but whatever the verbally you have attacked they will never forget. So, therefore, in that case be very very careful about this focus on solutions and avoid discussing who is right who is wrong why it is happened. So, they because you see the progressive leaders they do not go, go for the post mortem right. So, therefore, in that case uh, it is the corrective action there is a difference 
there, there is a difference between the feedback uh, and there is a difference between the criticism is there. So, therefore, in that case it is always better that is we give the feedback and uh, the follower and leaders both understands that is the, if they want to deliver the desired goals then the next time these corrective actions are to be taken. Then supportive communications uh, is the problem oriented not the person oriented. So, therefore, in that case focus on the that is the individual uh, so what is the characteristics and not, not the event. Focus on this will be the person oriented communication which is to be avoided. So, there what is required focus on the problems uh, and the solutions rather than on personal traits. Now, you see that is the it is always better that is the leader understands that whatever the failures are there why these failures are there. And once he will understand the why then I am sure that it is the almost the 50 percent problems uh, will be solved. This is the problem rather than you are the problem and uh, they illustrate the difference between the problem and the person orientation is there right and therefore, task event uh, the failures right that is to be discussed and not it is the, uh, that who is responsible for this. So, therefore, uh, that uh, 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 yes uh, for the performance the accountability has to be there, but when the accountability has been failed then you have to find out that is it is a why um, where, where is the gap. So, in building positive supportive relationships the problem oriented communication should also be linked to the accepted standards or the expectations rather than to personal opinions are concerned and therefore, that what is important? your the expectations are to be realistic. So, many times we keep very high expectation now no so any any parent if any parents uh, are having that very high expectation from their child which he is not able to perform then then what will be the outcome outcome will be that is a failure is the mismatch will be there and therefore, in that case there will not be the uh, there uh, any any part of this uh, uh, the communication which will be helping to the person. So, supportive communication is rather than the individual to individuals is there. So, validating communication helps people feel reorganized. Uh, which is which I was uh, trying to mention in the previous uh, slides also that is the whenever there is a failure then discuss the event and then give the direction. So, therefore, you can reorganize. So, validating the communication is there understood accepted and valued is there and understand exactly why why it is happened and then they accept that yes uh, uh, if the child uh, is not able to perform he will not be able to perform. So, whether you, you make the cry, you, you make the UN cry and uh, uh, you create the benchmarks and all these things. So, therefore, that uh, uh, we, we, we have to accept and value the value to the child that is the why the child is. Around. Similarly, in the leadership and team um, effectiveness we have to understand. However, I understand your question that is the uh, where will be the barrier, where will be the limit, where will be the end of the scope and definitely uh, that, that is to be decided between the leader and the follower uh, by understanding the limitations uh, and the strengths of the each other. Um, the communication that is uh, uh, invalidating or uh, negative feeling about self worth identity and relationships to others is there. It denies the presence uniqueness or the importance of other individuals uh, which is very sad. So, you can invalidate people in the uh, four main ways are there um, superiority oriented uh, rigidity in communication indifference in communication not acknowledge person's existence or importance and the impervious not acknowledge the feeling or the opinion of the other person is concerned. So, then in the, in the, uh, what is to be done uh, that is a respectful uh, egalitarian communication is there opposite of the superiority oriented communication when a person with a higher status interacts with a person of the lower status is there and that is to be also uh, um, we have to understand that is the many times that ego and uh, many times that is the uh, super empowerment uh, feeling and that may lead uh, to this type of uh, the uh, uh, issues which we have discussed in the previous slide. So, therefore, please understand uh, that is the who is who and the flexibility in communication is important two way communication will be there a fourth way to express validation based on agreement is to identify positive behaviors positive attitude and the positive consequences are concerned. 
the supportive communication in specific uh, uh, that is a useful and not global, non useful. So, the more specific statement is the more effective it is motivating the improvement is there. Uh, you have trouble managing your time is too general to be useful whereas, you spent on your scheduling meetings uh, today when uh, that could have been done by your assistant is there. So, therefore, uh, in that case many times that is you see that delegation and uh, empowerment that will help you uh, and, uh, so that those who are helping you those your supporters. So, provide the specific information that can serve as a basis for the behavioral changes there. The global non useful statements are usually extremes and absolute that lead to the defensiveness or the disconfirmation. Uh, you never ask for my advice, you have no consideration for others feelings, you either do what I say or uh, I will fire you. So, therefore, these, these are the sentences uh, we, 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 which are for the forever. Uh, this, uh, this is not like that is the uh, once you will say and the uh, period will be over and the person will forget. So, therefore, be careful by using this particular uh, uh, co uh, communication is concerned. So, supportive communication is conjunctive not disjunctive. So, that is concerned to previous message in some way it flows uh, smoothly and it disconnected from what was stated before is there. Supportive communication is owned and not disowned and therefore, take the responsibility the statements which you have given. So, on the that is idea is yourself and not another person in a group. So, many times it happens that is the leader uh, whenever the, there is a success they take the ownership when there is a failure uh, they leave to others. So, that is to be avoided. You use the third person first person plural words we think they said or one might say and that is the our task is there. Supportive communication requires supportive listening not one way message delivery is there and therefore, all focus on message delivery the initial communication, but another aspect of supportive communication listening and responding effectively to someone else's statement is there. So, Mel Solman and Mayer stated uh, in any conversation the person who talks the most is the one who learns the uh, least about the other person and the good supervisor therefore, must become a good listener also. So, uh, and this is the example of the supportive communication should know how to manage the failure and Dr. Uh, Dr. Uh, APJ Abdul Kalam has mentioned and uh, we thought we were ready for launch at 4 minutes before the satellite launch the computer began to go through the checklist of the items that needed to be checked. One minute later the computer program uh, put the launch on hold, but I bypassed the computer switched to the manual mode and launched the rocket. In the first stage everything worked fine, in the second stage a problem developed instead of the satellite going into orbit the whole rocket system plunged into the bay of Bengal right and uh, uh, the uh, so. Uh, that uh, uh, how to manage the failures uh, in this case uh, uh, that a professor Sajish the one had called a press conference it was my failure, but instead he took responsibility for the failure as the chairman of the organization is concerned. In July 1980 we tried again to launch the satellite and this time we succeeded. Again there was a press conference professor Dhawan called me aside and told me you conduct the press conference today. I learned a very important lesson that day when failure occurred the leader of the organization owned that failure when success comes is get used to the, his team is there. And this is a wonderful and uh, very realistic example uh, which is uh, uh, giving us a lesson that is how to work uh, uh, with our these uh, uh, the team uh, team members and uh, a leader in true sense uh, uh, how one can be the uh, uh, the, uh, the the uh, inspirational leader you know, like Dr. Kalam. Now, here we will talk about uh, uh, these as usual the research paper conceptualizing the communicative leadership, analyzing and developing leaders communication competence it talks about right and uh, you will find that is the how this uh, uh, leadership uh, uh, eight principles of communicative leadership which we have talked about uh, how they, they are making the applications. As usual this is the case study kindly refer this case study and the answer the questions uh, given at the end of the case study. Um, this is the book um, which may help you to understand more communicate like a leader connecting strategically to coach inspire and get things and done is there. So, this is about the book these are the references uh, for the study material and for the, your future readings. I am sure that is the uh, that interpersonal relationship with your team members with the uh, this uh, by learning through this session will be really very effective. Thank you.